Hi, this whiskey tasting is all about the Lefroy quarter cask. So Lefroy quarter cask comes from the island region of Scotland. It's the island of the coast uh, where a lot of the peated whiskies come from. So the smoky stuff, that's what you're going to be expecting here. Um, the quarter cask uh, is a smaller cask. So it's about 125 liters, a quarter of the size of a standard sherry butt. Um, and they age their whiskey, or at least they finish the whiskey inside these quarter casks. They use that size because a quarter cask was actually what two guys were used to be able to carry to the market in order to sell their whiskey. So obviously the sherry cask, 500 liters, quite a lot to carry and almost impossible to move unless you had a cart or something to carry it on. So having smaller barrels was easier for them to get whiskey to one place uh, to another. So the quarter cask being a much uh, higher surface area to whiskey ratio means that it's going to impart quite a lot of flavor quite quickly and you're going to get a lot more wood influence into that whiskey a lot quicker. So this whiskey here, a combination of whiskeys between 5 to 11 years, they don't have an age statement, but that's kind of the range that they put it in. Um, so if we have a look at this whiskey, we're going to see a little bit of a darker color than the standard Lafroy 10, um, just because of that wood influence, um, but nothing too dramatic, not too dark. Um, you know, not heading into serious sherry category yet. So having a, a look at the nose on this, straight off the bat you're going to get a lot of medicinal notes, so maybe like a TCB iodine kind of vibe, maybe like seaweed notes because this distillery is right next to the ocean. Um, the trick with these peated whiskies is to try and push through that a little bit and then you start to pick up, there's a a definite sweetness in there, maybe a little bit of like a, a creamy oiliness, almost like a texture on the nose, which is quite odd, but it definitely comes through. So if you have a taste of this, wash it around the mouth. First taste might be quite big and overwhelming because you might not be used to the peat just yet. Um, but that's definitely got that sweetness up front. I think the, the cool thing with a lot of good peated whiskies is they do have that brilliant sweetness up front. So like almost like a vanilla-y, like ice creamy creaminess that comes through, followed by a little bit of that peat. Um, and you also get kind of like a little bit of a dryness. So it doesn't necessarily finish too sweet and cloying. It's got quite a nice kind of dry finish on the tongue. Um, but obviously at the end, you know, you breathe in and out and you start to get a lot of that peat influence coming through. So really interesting whiskey, quite nice and well balanced. Um, got a, a fantastic flavor profile, but also got a really nice oily mouthfeel and texture that you don't necessarily get out of all peated whiskey. So fantastic dram to try and I hope you enjoy it.